Hello everyone. In my last video, we saw how to manage access to storage using the access keys and shared access signature. We also saw uh, what benefits shared access signature provide us over access keys. We generated a shared access signature at account level and also at uh, service level. For example, we generated shared access signature for a particular blob as well as for the blob account and try to access it from Storage Explorer. In this video, we will see a demo of a stored access policy and how to link it with the shared access signature. Stored access policy provides us an additional level of control over shared access signatures. So with shared access signature, we saw that we define the time interval and also what rights we want to give and we access the storage using that. But what if we want to change the time later on or change the access level, then we will have to generate a new shared access signature. But with stored access policy, we can change the time or the permissions in the stored access policy and it will change it for the shared access signature automatically. And also it provides us a benefit wherein we can revoke the access by just deleting the stored access policy after it has been issued. So we will start with our demo now. Here I am in my Azure account. Uh, this is a storage account. Blob service containers. And this is a container which I created and I uploaded a file here. In the previous video, we saw that we can go to the blob object and generate a SAS for this. And also we can go at the storage level and generate a shared access signature for it but we did not see any option to create a shared access signature at our container level in order to do this uh, we will need to connect to our storage explorer and from there we can create a shared access signature but before we do that let's look at these access policies so i will create a policy here uh, i will name it policy one I will name it policy one and I will give the permission of read and list. Start time I would give it and I would give it a time it, and I would give it a start time and expiry time. So this is my stored access policy and now I will create a shared access signature for the container uh, using this stored access policy. In order to create the shared access signature for container, I will need to get the access keys first so that I connect to my storage account. So here are my storage account access keys. I will open the storage explorer and I will connect to my Azure storage. So here is my storage account. Here I have my blob containers and here is my container one. And now I will create a shared access signature. And I will select the policy here. So in the policy I had read and list and time interval specified. I will copy the URI. I will copy it in a notepad. So this is the URI by which I will access this container. I will close it and detach my storage from here. And now I will connect to my container using the URI. So I am connected here to my container using the SAS URI in which I only have read and list access. So if I click on container.txt inside it, It opens it in a notepad so I am able to read it. Let me try uploading anything here. So it should fail because I do not have write access. So it has failed. Now in case I want to give write access, I can easily do that using stored access policy. I do not have to create a shared access signature again. I will go here containers container I will go to access policy so this is the policy one which was linked to it I will edit it and under permissions I will select write as well and click on ok save 
and now I will try to upload something in this uh, container so hopefully it should work now and it has worked so this was a small demo on stored access policy and what benefits it provides us in addition to shared access signature so this stored access policy works on our blob file queue and table so without creating a new shared access signature with write access i made use of stored access policy and just modified it to give write access so this is the benefit we get with stored access policy we just modify the stored access policy and we can give or revoke access or increase or decrease the time interval as well so this was a short video on stored access policy i hope you liked it please like share comment and subscribe on my channel and i will see you in my next video bye bye